Hi, and welcome to Birds and Bottle. We've got to think about wine, and we want you to have a thing about wine too. And this week we've chosen wines that are great for al fresco eating. Uh, yes, and we've kept it simple because you don't want to be pouring anything too complex with the likes of salads, things for barbecues. No, and you don't need um, a Grand Cru with your crudité or a Barola with your baggers. You certainly don't. So we found you some great wines that will make you feel dead Mediterranean. First up, we've got this Mont Grave Chardonnay 2011, and it's available from Waitrose at just $4.99. That's a fabulous price. It is, isn't it? Now, this is a Vin de France, which is the sort of lowest level of, um, of quality within France. Um, and it's only 12%, so a great little lunchtime number. Yeah, not too heavy on the alcohol. Very light, fresh. Yeah, um, everything you want of a lunchtime wine, really, isn't it? Yeah. There's no oak in this, it's just, it's aged on the stainless steel, but uh, a fresh, lovely, light wine. It hits what we were saying. Something simple, something yeah. light, something refreshing. Bit of, bit of good flavouring on it. Please all. Fruity. Easy. Yeah. Not, not too clever, not too complicated. And this would be really good if you've got a crowd, because mm. of the price. Um, it will not only please all your guests, but it will please NetWest as well. Mm. Now, I think... We are a country desperate to have an alfresco lifestyle. Yes, and at the drop of a hat, a sun hat, I think. Absolutely. Um, can they shove a couple of tables out on the pavement? <laughs> and us Brits think we're all Riviera while we're sitting right next to the bus lane. Yeah, exactly. Lorries trundling past and having that alfresco yeah, lifestyle. <laughs> Our second wine is the Domino del Plato Toronto. It's the 2011 vintage, and this is $7.99 in Marks and Spencer's. Yeah, now this comes from Argentina, and Toronto is one of their flagship grapes. Oh, a lovely sort of green tinge to that wine, isn't it? Oh, sunlight. Yeah. It's, it's a very, very aromatic grape. Oh, yes, really getting that on the nose, yeah. aren't you? Very floral on mm. the nose. Quite intense too. And sort of grapey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, muscatty almost. Yes. Now if that doesn't mean anything to you, muscat, the grape variety, always smells quite grapey, as of grapes, doesn't it? I would say this is halfway to Gewurz Traveller. It doesn't have the oil and the weight, but the, the flavour has that. It, it, it's almost like roses, isn't it? Yes, it's a very attractive floral wine. Mm. Jasmine, honeysuckle. That's one of my favourite plants, so this is going down very well. Mm. But it's got a lovely freshness, a bit of a citrus twist there. Very, very pleasant wine. Yeah. And if your only al fresco moment is on a balcony or in a courtyard, and your flowers aren't up to all that much, which is up to you, then this can do as well, I think, for you, can't it? Yeah. So if it's not torrentially raining, pick up one of these two tests. For our first red, we've got this Sicilian red from Asda, and it's three ninety eight a bottle. How cheap is that? Fantastic. Uh, now this is another good plugger, um, and it's only twelve and a half percent. So uh, great if you've got people for lunch. Yeah, a big crowd again. Yeah. Lovely, lovely cherry smell. Oh yes. I mean, it's a touch of the Benelins, isn't it? It, it is. is. It is. But in a nice way. It's yeah. cherryish. It's you know, red fruit. Mm. It's quite a spicy taste. It is again. It is a please all wine, isn't it? It is. It is easy, lovable, juicy, simple. Yeah, does the job. Now, al fresco eating here in Britain. It can be a bit hit and miss, can't it? Certainly can. Certainly this afternoon we have been down for dodging, haven't we? Yeah. Seriously. And in fact, thinking about it, we don't actually have a word for al fresco, do we? <laughs> Not surprisingly, <laughs> because we, we do it so one. little. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the Italians don't have a word for, for drizzle. <laughs> I bet they don't. <laughs> uh, do send us an email and let us know if there is one. Yeah, that would be useful. 
For our final one, we've got this Spanish Steps Toro. It's from Sainsbury's and it's $6.99 a bottle and this is the 2009 vintage. And Toro is a wine region in the northwest of Spain. Yeah, in fact it's quite close to the Portuguese border. Yeah, and Tinto de Toro is the great variety but everywhere else it's called Tempranillo. Oh, oh, warm, warm, fruity, red, wow. red fruited nose. Isn't, isn't that lovely? Yeah. It's like it you're is. making blackcurrant jam or something. Well, it's, it, it really is promising things. That isn't really it? is a lovely aroma. Spicy, fruity. It's got my mm. cheeks and gums tingling. Yeah. Mm. Lovely, mm. juicy. A juicy red Gorgeous. fruit, um, enough tannin there to just give it a bit of a mm. roundness. Absolutely, that's really nice. Six ninety nine. Yeah, six ninety nine. Yeah, Fantastic. I mean this this sort of is a perfect sort of robust big wine for barbecues, isn't it? Yeah. It's funny how we always get back to bigger robustness, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we do a bit, don't we? <laughs> well, um, and on that note, you know, I always think about, you know, going back to al fresco. Yeah. To me, right. to me, it sort of sounds like an Italian cabaret singer. <laughs> al fresco. Yeah. <laughs> so what, a sort of Italian George Clooney? No, I was thinking it more as sort of like Tom Jones. You know, but in his youth. Um, oh, I was going to say. And looking a bit more Mediterranean, and obviously without the Welsh accent. So, not absolutely Tom Jones, in fact. <laughs> okay, maybe that's <laughs> not a good analogy. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>